English pronunciation mastery for Portuguese speakers, vowel reduction and diphthongs. Hello everyone! Welcome back to our series on English language learning. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic. Pronunciation challenges for Romance language speakers, with a special focus on Portuguese speakers. Our key focus will be on vowel reduction and diphthongs. Ready? Let's dive right in. Vowel reduction is a common feature of the English language. Unlike Portuguese, where each vowel generally maintains its full form in words, English often reduces or shortens vowel sounds, especially in unstressed syllables. In English, we have stressed and unstressed syllables, and it's often in the unstressed ones where we reduce vowels. For instance, in the word, photography, the second and fourth syllables are pronounced with a reduced, uh, sound, as in, photography. This concept may seem strange to Portuguese speakers, who usually pronounce all vowels fully. Key tip, practice noticing and pronouncing unstressed syllables with reduced vowels when speaking English. A good word to start with is, banana, banana. In English, we have sounds that we call diphthongs. These are vowel sounds that involve a transition from one sound to another, like the oi in Cohen or ou in out. Portuguese also has diphthongs, but the particular combinations and sounds are different. An example of this difference is the English word day. The i sound is a diphthong in English, but in Portuguese, vowels are typically pronounced separately. So, a Portuguese speaker might pronounce day more like da e e. Key tip. Pay attention to diphthongs when listening to native English speakers. Try to mimic their smooth transition from one vowel sound to another. Now, let's talk about some strategies to overcome these challenges. 1. Listen and repeat. Listening to native English speakers and repeating after them is one of the best ways to get used to the sounds of the English language. 2. Use learning materials. There are plenty of English learning materials that cater specifically to Portuguese speakers. These can be very helpful in understanding the unique challenges you may face. 3. Practice, practice, practice. As with any new skill, practice makes perfect. Try to practice your English pronunciation every day. Remember, everyone learns at their own pace, and that's okay. What matters most is consistency and effort. And there we have it, folks. A closer look at vowel reduction and diphthongs, and some practical tips on how Portuguese speakers can master these aspects of English pronunciation. Remember, with consistent practice and exposure to English, you'll find these challenges becoming easier to handle. Thanks for joining us today, and keep practicing. We hope this video has been helpful and we can't wait to see you in the next one.